All right, big up sports fans, big up viewers and subscribers. Eddie Guna back again, still in Chicago. And, you know, rough, rough game. But we have to move, you know. Before we get into the topic, I just have to talk about the game. A draw was a fair result, but it should not have been, if you know what I mean. You know, we got the chance to go up 2-0. I will speak on that later on. But, you know, after leading for so long, you know, I could taste the W. I could taste Coach Algrimson's first win and what a win it would have been, you know, at Soldier Field in America against USA. Even though not the best USA team as it relates to quality, but, you know, at the end of the day, you're not going to say that Jamaica beat the USB. You're going to say Jamaica won, USA nil. That's the, the, the important part. But, you know, kudos to Damon Lowe. I think he had a tremendous game. My man of the match. And not because of that brilliant header that he scored, but his overall play, picking up a yellow card early, that did not stop him. You know, he was tackling, putting a lot of good tackles, um, intercepting the ball, you know, blocks. You know, he was everywhere at the right time, at the right place. You know, if it wasn't for Damon Low, USA might have taken the league the lead much early. You know what I mean? Took it took the game away from us. But he kept us in the game and he kept us one nil up. So kudos to Damon who definitely the man of the match. Also, big ups to Dexter Lambakisa. He for me he was tremendous. As it relates to tackling, nobody could get past him. He definitely locked down that right hand side. You know, one minor mistake, if you want to call it that, the ball ricochet um, deflection off him that led to the goal. But as I said to him, you know, keep your head up. You know, I saw him in the mix zone. I said, keep your head up, Dexter. Because, you know, apart from that, he was, you know, 10 out of 10 as it relates to his performance. So, I really like the game from Dexter Lambakisa as well. Um, Demari Gray, must talk about Demari Gray as well, making his debut for Jamaica, getting you know, an assist, goal involvement. Didn't take him 20 minutes before he got a goal involvement. You know, so great cross put in there on the right hand side. So good game. You know, he could have gotten the ball more in the second half, but the same could be said up. For pretty much everybody, we didn't really pass the ball. You know, once again, the same, we know it, long ball settings. So that keep going on and on. But all in all, as I said, a fair chance, USA created more chances and the better chances and could have won the game. So we, we you know, we, we'll take it and we move on to the Trinidad game. But as I said earlier, Going up 2-0, I believe we would have won that game easily. But Leon Bailey missed that penalty. And I'm here to tell you the reason why he missed the penalty. Obviously, part of the reason is because it wasn't his best penalty. You know, it wasn't hit with a lot of power. And it wasn't hit, you know, in the corners where the keeper had no chance. He gave the keeper a chance and the keeper, Matt Turner, Arsenal, Goalkeeper saved it. So that's part of the problem. It wasn't his best kick. And I know persons might say, why is Liam Bailey taking penalties? Uh, he scored his last one for, for Jamaica. And that was under Paul Hall, I believe, in the latter stages of the World Cup qualifiers. He scored a penalty at the office. So he, I believe he was confident. You know, He scored his last penalty for Jamaica. He doesn't really take penalty for Aston Villa. So he's not a specialist, but... He can score, so everybody misses penalty. So that's part of the reason why Leon Bale missed the penalty. But the main reason, and and it, 
it, it's it's difficult to it is rough and it's hard to to say but the main reason was the former goalkeeper for jamaica ryan thompson you might be wondering oh ryan thompson equate to leon bailey missing the penalty but i'm going to tell you while i was in the mix zone a journalist was speaking to matt turner and as you know ryan thompson is now the header he, he pretty much is a goalkeeper coach for the usa He's a top man as it relates to that. So he's been tutoring Matt Turner and the other goalkeepers for the USA. So he basically said to the journalists that, look, Ryan Thompson told us who the possible penalty takers would be and where they would put the penalty. So I guess Leon Bailey was on that list and he, he told him, you know, where possible Leon Bailey would put that, that ball. He made credit to Ryan Thompson's input, so you know how great that was. I really said that to say this. It's something I've been talking about. I did it on Instagram. In Jamaica, we need to step up our analysis and our statistics. Ryan Thompson could be able to track down our penalty takers and where they normally would put it, put the ball, whether left, right, down, middle and give stats on that. These are the things that are happening now in modern day football. I give the example with the English goalkeeper, England and Everton goalkeeper, Jordan Pickford. Pickford has his water bottle for every game. The water bottle has the name of the possible penalty takers, anybody that would step up. I think the entire team and where they put the penalty kicks with a left right down the middle so everton can see the penalty all he does is go for the water bottle take a drink look up look to see who's taking the penalty okay it's soccer for arsenal okay soccer would go majority of his penalty kicks go to the left all right i'm gonna take a chance and go to the left it's there on his water bottle if it's not soccer and it's jesus or martinelli it's also there Right? So this is where football is going. So JFF, step that up. Step that game up. Because there's going to come a time where we're going to concede and we're going to need a big, big save. Andre Blake is already a goalkeeper. But to give him some additional help, some additional information, it would be great to appreciate it. Mind you, I don't know if we're doing it currently, but I'm just saying, step it up can be in other factors as well. So those are the reasons why Leon Bailey missed that penalty against USA. That vital penalty that would have, I believe, won us the game easily. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think it was just solely down to Leon Bailey? What percentage do you put down to that? Do you call it 50-50? 50% Ryan Thompson's input or Leon Bailey? whatever percentage you want to put it. Me personally, obviously, I'm going to get a slight edge to the statistics and the planning of Orion Thompson. Being able to tell Matt Turner where Leon Bailey would put the ball is very, very important. So 60%, 60-40 for me. You know, that plays a huge part. But let me know. That's just what I say. Let me know what you think. You know, Eddie Gona, still in Chicago. You know, Chicago is like New York, but much, much cleaner. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, still here, still, you know, enjoying stuff. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. See, see down here. Yeah. Let me know. Drop your comments. You know, Liam Bailey has been getting a lot of stick for that penalty miss and his overall performance. You know, over Dragon Boys past, say, let's say, probably 10 games or so. Not having the, the best of times. And I think Liam Bailey is just, he's trying too hard. He's trying too hard to do well. He loves his country, he wants to do so well. I believe he, he plays harder. 
than than when he's actually playing for Aston Villa. More fight and passion, but it's just not coming off. That's the issue. And he's over dribbling. I remember the, the last game. You know, he had the ball, had the ball, everybody was saying, Leon, pass it now. You're doing well, pass it now, pass it now. Lose the ball. You know, and especially that rebound. You're fine, the goalkeeper is playing, he saved the penalty. But that rebound, Leon, that Leon, that's 100% you. I know it's a weaker foot, but come on, empty goal, you need to bury that Leon, baby. Right? And everybody, you can't argue with that. Everybody will say you need to bury it. So you need to step a game up for Jamaica. Or else, you know, getting in players, Leon, don't want you to. You might lose a spot. And it's just a reality. See, I'm wearing a Leon Bailey jersey. So not a hater. You know, respect the ball and his, the word that he's put in over the years. But it comes a time where, you know, you need to step up. What you're doing, you know, not good enough. All right? So you need to step a game up. So that's it. You know the drill. Eddie Guna, thanks for watching. And I'm out. Okay, people, this is Paul Maxwell, a.k.a. The Leader. Watch Eddie Vision TV for all the latest sports and information. Right? Like, share, and subscribe.